A lot of new bikes come with something known as a spoke guard, spoke protector, or dork disc fitted as standard. Now, there's quite a bit of debate out there as to whether or not this is something that should be kept on or removed from your bike, and some people have pretty strong opinions about it. Now, if you want to keep your dork disc on your bike, then by all means, go right ahead. That's one of the freedoms that's afforded to you. Uh, however, if you want to remove it, in this video, I'm gonna show you how. As mentioned, many people think that dork discs should remain in place. However, I'm of the opinion, and I know I share this with many top mechanics, that if your bike is set up correctly, it's not required, and it looks absolutely crap. Its job, in case you're unfamiliar, is to protect your spokes in the event that you shift your chain and derailleur over the biggest sprocket, this top sprocket, on your cassette. However, if your bike is set up properly, this should never happen. It suggests to people that you don't know how to set up your bike properly or how it works, uh, hence dog. There are two ways to remove it, the proper way and the bodge way. I'm gonna show you the proper way first, and for that you'll need the following tools. A cassette lock ring tool, a spanner or a wrench, and a chain whip. This is so that you can remove the cassette from the wheel. Now first, you'll have to take the wheel out of the bike. This is easiest if the wheel's on the floor. Take your chain whip, place that on the cassette to hold it in place. Take your lock ring tool, place that into the lock ring, and then get your wrench or spanner, and then use that to undo the lock ring while holding the cassette in place with the chain whip. The lock ring tightens clockwise and loosens anti-clockwise. With the lock ring removed, you can then slide the cassette off the free hub body. This is also a good opportunity to give your cassette a clean. It's much easier to clean when it's off the bike. And from there, you can simply unclip the dork disc off the spokes and remove it. Now, if you don't have these tools and you desperately want to remove your dog disc because you're urgently heading out the door to go and ride with some cool people and you don't want them to think that you're a dog, well, you can simply just hack it off with either some shears or some cutters like this. Of course, this will destroy the dog disc though, which will anger all of the dorks out there, which means they may come after you in the world of Warcraft or whatever it is they, they do anyway. Let's cut it off. No doubt millions of dorks out there all just felt a disturbance in the force, as if millions of voices had just cried out in terror and then were quickly silenced. Well, if you want to keep your dork disc on, by all means do. Live your life. It's one of the freedoms that's afforded to you. If you don't want to be a slave to fashion, keep it on. It, it might actually protect your spokes. Anyhow. Hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. And um, well, don't forget to subscribe for more useful uh, how-to and maintenance content on GCN Tech. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.